This is the first in a series of videos that's going to look at the fundamentals of the Java programming language and we're not going to assume any prior knowledge so this is suitable for beginners and we're going to be using Java Standard Edition version 8. Just to set some context I'm going to look at some websites here and I'll put the links in the description. So the first thing to say is that the Java programming language is, is, a, is a hugely popular um, multi-purpose programming language. It's owned by Oracle and I'm actually looking at the Oracle Academy website here where they talk about certification and training plans and that sort of thing and um, I thought one way of presenting these videos would be to follow the, the syllabus for the Oracle Foundation certification path so that if you complete all these videos and understand them you can take that exam and, and you get an industry standard certification. We can click on, on, on the, this is this is the certificate I'm talking about here if I click on that and look further into it there are details here specifically about this exam like how to book the exam the cost that sort of thing and lower down the exam topics so these videos will be covering these topics and we'll try to do them in, a, in as fun and interesting a way as possible so for example we've got uh, basic arithmetic operators here so I thought a good way to look at those would be to try to develop a calculator application for example so we'll try to do useful examples uh, I couldn't actually find a book that, that covers this syllabus but there is a book that covers like the more comprehensive exam so this one here on Amazon uh, relates to this other exam here which is uh, also on the uh, Oracle Academy site that's a more comprehensive look at look at Java the one we're going to look at is basically a subset of that one so this book would be useful for the one we're looking at as well as as the bigger one so the first thing to actually do to, to start to, to prepare to start doing these these videos and going along with them doing the examples yourself is to download Java itself so if we come to the Java download site so I'm using Java 8 as I said that's I, I believe still there are more recent versions of Java available but I think this is still the, the most widely used version in industry Java 8 uh, and of course it's backwards compatible with the future versions anyway so this is a good one to learn and this is the download site and, and it, they provide downloads for all sorts of different operating systems so I'm actually working on a Linux machine here so I downloaded this compressed version of the Java distribution here and I unpacked it uh, to here so in my home directory I've got the Java distribution here but so if you pick the one for your operating system if you're on Windows you're likely to be on a Windows 64 bit machine so that's probably one to go for and if you just click that and follow the wizard and go to go from most of the default settings that it gives you that will install Java for you to what? test that Java is installed okay open a command window uh, or terminal so I'm, I'm, I'm in Linux here so mine looks like this but obviously the Windows one will look quite similar and just type in Java hyphen version and it should come back with something meaningful telling you what version of Java you've got if it comes back with something saying like Java's not recognized then there might be a few extra steps just to complete the installation so that your system recognizes that you've installed Java and I'll put some links to, to help you resolve that if that happens but using the standard installer it should work pretty much first time in most cases so that's the Java language installed what we now need is, is, is an environment with which to start developing and programming with that and the one I use is IntelliJ IDEA or IntelliJ IDEA it's an um, integrated development environment um, and it, it offers a ultimate version or a free community version and, and the free community version is fine for our purposes so I've downloaded that and it just gives you a framework where you can start writing programs um, easier than just, than just writing them in a text editor as, as, as developers used to do so once you've downloaded and installed IntelliJ you can open that and click new project so we can just start a new project now just to prove that everything's working okay and let's just choose Java from here because we want to use a Java project we want to start a Java project so click next on here and basically to just just keep going clicking next until it asks you for a project name so I'm gonna just call this one Java test because we won't be using this all the way through the course this is just a test one to check that everything's working and click finish 
and what it will do it will it will bring up a new window with your new project there ready to use and we'll start to get more familiar with this interface as we go as we go on I've set it up to give a grey background um, by default I think it's white and we can look into how to change that as we go through the course but for now you can see it's set up a set of directories for us um, and the the one way we're going to start writing code is this source directory here. These are these other things that it's that it's produced are just its own internal files to manage to manage this project. So this is IntelliJ, which is a, a development environment for for all sorts of different languages, but of course we're using it for Java. So in source there, let's code the classic hello world example for Java. And if this works for you, then it shows that you're all ready to go when we start actually looking at the language itself. So right click there on source and click new Java class and we'll call it just call it hello like that and it should give you like the basic skeleton of a Java program. I'm not going to explain what any of this stuff means yet that will be for, for the next next video. Let's just get something working first of all. So now we're going to write a method in that class and it's the, a classic method that we use to start programs it's so popular that there's a shortcut in IntelliJ that will fill it in for us without having to write out every word. If we just type PSVM and take this that it's offering us, it gives us this method called public static void main string args. Uh, and the cursor is inside that method. So now we're just going to write something to print to print out something to the screen. So again, it's a very, very popular thing. For, for which there is a shortcut. If you just type the characters S O U T, and again take what IntelliJ is offering us here, and in the middle of those brackets there, with some qu double quotes, just write hello, type hello world, which is the, the classic program that we, we always write when, we, when we're learning a new language. So that's the hello world program in Java. If I just right click in here and, and pick hello hello main, run hello main, it will actually compile and start running that and we should see some output on the screen there, hello world. So if you've got to that stage, you've installed Java, you've installed IntelliJ and you've been able to write this program and run it, you're ready to start. And, and so video two will actually start looking at that syllabus.